Thanks to the Wall Street Journal, it has been confirmed that Joe Manganiello has been cast as Deathstroke and will be the villain for Ben Affleck's solo Batman movie. Now, I reported on this last week, and you can click here to see the original video where we discuss Joe Manganiello's casting, but there's also a nice breakdown on the background of the character and all of the evidence outlined that supported how he had been cast. So let's get into this. In an interview with the Wall Street Journal, DC Entertainment President and Chief Creative Officer Jeff Johns confirmed Joe Manganiello's casting. In the interview, he also confirmed that Ben Affleck would indeed direct the Batman movie. As if that wasn't obvious already after trotting Affleck out during the DC's director's panel at Comic-Con, but it, it's nice to have confirmation from the executive in charge of the DC slate. Although Warner Brothers has not set a release date, the Batman film could be released as early as 2018. But let's get back to Deathstroke, because to say that Ben Affleck took the internet by storm after releasing the footage is an understatement. Having Deathstroke appear in the DC universe and this early is inspired. And after careful examination of the footage, I think it's safe to say that it does appear to be either a stinger film for Justice League because of the Batmobile in the background, and because during the interview, Johns declined to comment as to whether or not this is a scene in the movie. If it wasn't, then he would have just said no, but a lack of disclosure means there's something to hide. So yes, this is probably a quick post credit scene. Especially given that the current theory is that Deathstroke appears as a result of the discussion between Bruce Wayne and Amanda Waller at the end of Suicide Squad. If you'll remember, Bruce Wayne threatens Amanda Waller, telling her to shut down the Suicide Squad or he and the Justice League will do it for her. And since Deathstroke is more of a mercenary than he is a villain, it would logically lead one down the path that someone had to have sent him. So I think it's fairly safe to assume that Amanda Waller sent Deathstroke and he's hunting down the Batman because Amanda Waller ordered, maybe even paid him to. But what do you guys think of Joe Manganiello being cast? And what do you guys think about the theory regarding Amanda Waller sending Deathstroke? Let me know down in the comments below. Dan, remember, please subscribe so that you're notified in your newsfeed when the next video is uploaded. Please remember to give this video a like and share it about and help support this channel through Patreon and using any of the affiliate links in the description below. You people are awesome as always. Thanks for watching.